This free response question says, a particle moving along a curve in the xy plane has position x of t and y of t at time t greater or equal to zero. You're given dx dt is the square root of 3t, and dy dt is given as 3 cosine of t squared over 2. It says the particle is at position 1 comma 5 when t equals 4. Part A says find the acceleration vector at the time t equals 4. Before we get started, I'm going to type dx dt as our y1 and dy dt as our y2. So I'm going to press y equals. So I have the square root of 3x as our y1, and y2 is 3 cosine of, and I put x squared over 2. For an acceleration vector, we need the second derivative. So we're going to use math 8. So here's math and then 8. So first we're going to take the derivative of dx dt, so we're going to call up y1 and we're plugging in 4 for t, so you get 0.433. So I did the same thing, math 8, for y2 because that's our dy dt, and you get negative 11.872. So here's our acceleration vector when t equals 4. You have 0 0.433 comma negative 11.872. Part B says find the y coordinate of the position of the particle at time t equals 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this initial condition. It says the position of the particle when t equals 4 is 1 comma 5. So the y coordinate is 5 when time t equals 4. So I set it up. y of 0 is what we're trying to find. And in order to do so, we're using the initial condition y of 4 plus the integral from 4 to 0. So this is what we have to where we want of dy dt. y of 4 is the y coordinate when t equals 4, and that was 5. I flipped these and brought out a negative, so it's negative the integral from 0 to 4 of dy dt. So we have 5 minus the integral from 0 to 4, dy dt is our y sub 2, and you get 1.601. So 1.601 is the y coordinate of the position of the particle when t equals 0. Part C says, on the interval from 0 to 4, at what time does the speed of the particle reach 3.5? So our speed formula is the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared, and we're setting that equal to 3.5. Okay, I pressed y equals, and right now we have y1 is our dx dt, y2 is our dy dt. What I'm going to do is arrow over and get the cursor on the equal sign, and I'm going to press enter. And that unhighlights the equal sign. So I'm going to do the same thing for y2. I have my cursor on the equal sign. I'm going to press enter. If I were to hit graph, those will not show up now on the graph. We need to solve this equation, so I'm going to type this as one of the y's, and I'm going to type this as another y. So I want the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared, so that's actually y1 and y2 is our dx dt and dy dt respectively. So now I have both sides of the equation as our y3 and y4. When we hit graph, we can find the intersection of these two. So we're looking for where these two graphs intersect between 0 and 4. The problem says, on the interval from 0 to 4, at what time does the speed of the particle first reach 3.5? We can see the two graphs intersect here and here and here, and then they keep going, but it says where they first reach, so that would be this intersection right here. So I'm going to press second trace, and we're going to use intersect. Arrow over to where they are intersecting, so I have the cursor near where the intersection is occurring, it says first curve, so we're going to press enter. It says second curve, press enter. And then guess, we're going to press enter one more time. And the intersection occurs, it says at 2.226. So I wrote it out, the particle first reaches the speed when t equals 2.226. Part D says, find the total distance traveled by the particle over the time interval from 0 to 4. To find the total distance traveled of the particle over the closed interval from 0 to 4, we're using the length formula for parametric equations. It's the integral from 0 to 4, the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared dt. And we're going to plug this into the calculator. So we're going to go math 9, 0 to 4, and we're going to go square root. dx dt is our y1. And then we have y2. Both are squared. And we get 13.182.